All right, so for our first design in Onshape, this is our overall uh, dashboard. And from here, we can see some things like my Onshape, which will have all your files that you've opened previously. And then you'll have Teams over here. So where you start your file really doesn't matter because you're going to share it anyway. But you'll be able to check on different files and stuff like that from our team right here. So to get started, you're going to click on Create and then a new document. For our first uh, design, we're going to name it Cube. And this is what the main screen of Onshape looks like. And uh, over here we have our workspace. Up top are all of our tools. And then on the left here are our viewpoints, right? So we have like top, front, right so all the views that we've talked about in orthographics and laying out different drawings right and then over here we have what's called the view cube and once we have an object in our workspace we can rotate around our work to see what it looks like from different views and that'll allow us to create views uh, if we can't see what um, exactly is on that feature so to get started we're going to use a uh, tool up here and in order to create a 2d or in order to create a 3d shape we need to create a 2d shape so just like we were sketching and just like whenever we started sketching we're going to start with a simple cube so to do that i'm going to click on sketch and it says select a sketch plane so planes are flat surfaces, right? Just like in geography. So we can sketch on any of these three work planes. We're going to sketch on the front plane because we're going to create the front view first. Since it usually provides the most amount of information, that's how we would start, right? So I'm gonna click on front and it'll pull up a sketch one here. And that's saying that I'm sketching in this plane. All right, so I'm going to rotate my view cube down to the front so that I can look straight on to that uh, plane. All right, and we, you can still see our other planes here. They are there. However, we're not drawing on them. That's just saying that we'll be able to see them once we pop that into 3D. Over here, we have uh, our sketch plane uh, information. We don't want to get rid of this yet, so we don't want to hit that check mark. We aren't done yet. We didn't create anything on this sketch. So once you get into a sketch, your tools up here will change to 2D tools. So you have things like line, rectangle, uh, center point circle, right? And you could change them to different tools, right? And each tool has its own hotkey. So if I wanted to quickly select a corner rectangle, I would hit G. So what I'm going to do is draw my rec my square rather, not even a rectangle, but I'm going to draw my square on this big dot in the center, and that dot's called the origin point. The origin is as if it's zero comma zero on a graph, right? It's your intersection point of axis. So that's the overall zero 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 because it's going through three axes, right? We have the Z and we have the X, height and width. So what I'm gonna do is click on that origin point and drag out, and you'll see the numbers go up. So this defaults uh, to us in the US uh, as inches. So right now it's 1.568 inches by 1.885. So you don't have to specify a an exact, it's not like if we wanted this to be, to be one, we would have to move this around, you know. It doesn't matter how big it is, if we wanted this block to be one inch, we're just going to click. And you'll see that bottom number, that 2.093, turned white. And what that's going to let me do is type in it. So all, I didn't click it, I didn't do anything, I just typed to my keyboard since it was highlighted, right, and I can type one. So that's one inch, and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard, and it'll jump to the height now. I'm, I'm also just going to hit one on my keyboard. I didn't click anywhere and I'll hit enter. Right there is a one inch by one inch square. Okay. 
if you try to click on these numbers to change them, you'll draw another rectangle. Now, you don't want to do that. To get out of a rectangle, when in doubt, escape out. Right? If you wanted to change these, you have to get off of any tool, and then you'll be able to click on them. So they'll highlight it like this. Okay. Once we are done with our sketch, we're going to hit this green check mark and it'll allow us to go back and you could change this view cube at any time but it'll allow us to go back and see what we have drawn and we no longer have our 2d sketch tools up here we have our 3d sketch tools so our 3d sketch tools the first one we want to do to pop this out is called extrude and whenever you extrude something if I click extrude it pulls up the tool and then I click on it, it pushes that object through and becomes that shape in 3D based on how long you want it to be. So the depth is one inch. So I could change the direction, right? You could do all kinds of stuff. You can make it symmetric. You, you can push it through up to objects, um, up to next objects, stuff like that. But we're just going to leave it at one inch because we want this to be a cube, okay? So we're just going to hit the check mark there. And now we have a one inch by one inch cube, right? And we can rotate all around that and get an idea, right, of how this software works. When you're finished, you're going to hit share. And then down here, it says individuals, teams, public, link sharing. You're going to select teams, select your class period, and then you're going to change it to can view. You don't want anybody in the class being able to edit your document. Please make sure that you hit can view because somebody could just come in and delete it. So make sure you make uh, can view your permissions here. And then leave comment on. That way I can comment on your uh, files if something is incorrect and then you're just gonna hit share all right so there we go construction can view and comment that's it